think you're going to find for a lot of people that they know what they like when they look physically at another human being, what they find physically attractive, and so forth. And the interesting thing about that is there's some odd, um, I won't say anomalies exactly, but some oddities in the way a lot of people view what they really like. And they like one thing and they don't like another, and that's just reality. I want to talk today on the idea of looks like racism on the daily summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, and today is Thursday, the 26th of August of 2021. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble on the podcast on YouTube. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. And today we're going to talk on the subject, as I say, of looks like racism. And you might be asking yourself a simple question, what does that have to do with what you started out saying? Well, let me see if I can elaborate. But before I get too deep into the subject, I'm going to go ahead and run through my notes really quick so you have a chance to kind of see where I'm coming from. And this may help you to understand so that I don't have to say too much more to get that across. If I said I wouldn't be interested in a relationship with a white woman, would you consider me a racist? Truth is, I've had such a relationship. I've also had a relationship with a Hispanic lady and a Korean woman. That said, I know folks who just don't find themselves attracted to people of certain ethnic groups. Now, what's funny is I know people who are, who are, for example, Hispanic and do not find themselves attracted to, well, Hispanics. <laughs> okay, so in fact... At le uh, there at least used to be an ideal Korean woman. It was said that Korean men wanted a particular set of physical attributes in their ladies. These days, where I'd love to stumble into a serious relationship, I'm definitely not seeking one out. If you ask me about physical preferences in a woman, I'd say two things, though. The first is that ethnic origin really doesn't concern me. Where looks are concerned, uh, excuse me, where looks are concerned, doesn't really concern me where looks are concerned. Got to watch my own uh, punctuation and so forth. Uh, I've seen beautiful women from around the world. You literally, I, I can't think of a place where I can't pick out a beautiful woman if I look. The second is where a nice package is pleasant to look at if the person inside doesn't possess certain internal attributes, the outside really doesn't matter. Even so, if a person just doesn't care for the physicality of a given, given ethnic origin, it's really questionable you can count that racism. If you can, though, I'm sorry to say that will just have to be okay. Put simply, trying to force folks to like what they don't care for is a fool's errand. Does it look like racism? Is it racism? Does it really matter? Now, I want to kind of take the time to talk about this a little deeper, obviously. I, I didn't intend to just stop there. Um, give me a second. I, had, I have a resource today. I have a definition from racism that I pulled off of the web, and I think that that will be useful in helping us to understand um, that idea. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put that up here in a second, but I wanted to go ahead and set myself up so I knew what I was looking at. Um, so, uh, okay, here's, here's that definition. Racism is the belief that a race accounts for, or that race accounts for differences in human character or ability and that a particular race is su superior to others. Discrimination, uh, d definition two, discrimination or prejudice based on race. And definition three, the belief that each race has distinct, distinct and intrinsic attributes. And I'm not going to say that the third is really all that accurate. It's not horribly inaccurate, I don't guess, but it's not super accurate either. Um, take a little definition down. Uh, but here's what I will say. I will say that typically there tend to be physical attributes not necessarily solidly attributable to each race, if you want to talk about race as a real thing, but that largely you can find in that particular racial group, if you want to call them that. I don't really buy race very much myself. I get the idea. I see a reason that you might want to sort of make separations on that basis, but it really doesn't mean much to me at all. Um, that said, though, the thing about it is whether or not somebody, quote, likes somebody else who is of a particular race 
is really somewhat insignificant to me if they're if the like or dislike is on a physical basis when you start to delve into the idea okay let me give you something that happened to me for a long time that i kind of overcame in ways in a very important way i used to say that i probably wouldn't date most black ladies now let me be clear on a couple of things one do i find black ladies to be attractive yes yeah, some of them i surely do i certainly do find them to be moderately attractive um that said i find that there is an attitudinal perspective among uh african-american folks and it's not absolutely pervasive some people have it some people don't but there's this attitude or this perspective about, about around um african-american folks and the result is that many African-American ladies act in ways that I don't find attractive. Now, here was the kicker. Here's what sort of straightened me out a little more on this even than where I was. Because really, I mean, if it's attitudinal, it's attitudinal and it doesn't really matter. So if I found an African-American lady who had had what I consider a good attitude, I'd have been prone to be interested in her regardless of the fact that she was African-American, right? But let's add a little more to that. Actually, these days, for most European-American women, I feel the same way. They're trained attitudinally to have bad attitudes, or they pick them up or whatever. I don't know. I can't tell you. All I know is that lots of times, uh, European-American, African-American, and other ladies pick up bad attitudes. Hispanic-American ladies do it. Pick up these attitudes that I go, nope, can't use that. Right? The point is, Ra the idea that that's racism for me to say that I don't like how they act, how they behave, and so forth, is would might would be true if you could say that I was stereotyping all of them and saying, yeah, you know, all African American women act like this. But I have to tell you, I've met some African American women who are really nice, really nice people. So salt of the earth, really nice people. So by no means can I make that statement. And again, I find that a lot of European-American ladies have the same problems, or maybe not the same even necessarily. They might, they might not, but they might have even different problems. Regardless, what is the case, the reality is these days there are very few women that I would consider seriously in any kind of relationship, but I'll just tell you now, African-American, uh, African, Asian-American, Asian, -American, Asian European-American, European, Australian, New Zealander, I don't care. From a physical perspective, I really don't find there to be, sig even if there are significant differences in how they look, and I don't know if you would argue that or not, I have a hard time making that argument personally, but even if you would make that argument, I would have to say to you that I find all of them to have qualities of beauty that there's no way for me to ignore make them beautiful people. So that's not really what's driving that. And I would uh, argue that for most people, if they have any sense, they're probably in that same place. And particularly if they've ever been in a relationship with somebody who attitudinally had a bad attitude. Oh my gosh, what a horrible thing that is to anybody who has to deal with it. So you ladies who, who have dealt with me, maybe you could make that argument about me. Maybe you could say that I had a ba bad attitude. But my point is to say that when I have dealt with ladies who had bad attitudes, it made it so that I really, really, really did not want to be in any kind of relationship with that person. It didn't matter where they came from or where their ancestry came from. It doesn't make any difference at all. So I really question whether or not it's racism, even though for a lot of people it may look very much like it. Okay, and this is kind of what I'm trying to bring to bear, is it may look to you like racism, but maybe you want to dig a little deeper before you make your decision on that. I don't think you're going to find in many cases that it's racism at all. I think what you're going to find is that there are attitudes and perspectives among a lot of people that make it so folks will not be interested in them for things like serious relationships. That's just my thought. Um, I'd love to hear anybody's take on that, by the way. I, I'm always up to listen to people when they have something to say about this uh, or anything for that matter. If you've got something that's to say that's counter to what I'm saying, by all means, bring it up.
Okay, I need to go ahead and wrap up. This is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Today is Thursday, the 26th of August of 2021. It means tomorrow will be Friday, the 27th of August of 2021, the beginning of that all-important weekend for a lot of folks. Uh, welcome to everybody who's here on Rumble on YouTube and the podcast, and thank you for coming along, whichever those platforms you're on or whatever platform you're on. Remember that Rumble is my prefer- preferred platform. Obviously, you can give me a positive rumble or a plus on rumble or a negative rumble if you choose to do so. That's totally your choice. Uh, I hope you have a good reason if you do that. Uh, You can give me a thumbs up or a like or a thumbs down or a dislike on YouTube, and you can comment on any platform that you can find the place to comment, and I'll do everything that I can to pay attention to your comments over the course of time. The subject for today has been looks like racism. Tomorrow we're going to talk on the subject of not coming back. And that's really an important thing to talk about. You know, I say that all the time. You're going to find that I think all of the stuff that I talk about is important. And maybe you won't find it so much the case. Uh, but I but I certainly do. In any case, I hope you're having a good day today. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Hopefully you're winding into a good Friday and a good weekend after that. Hopefully things are going well for you in general, and hopefully we will see you again on Friday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Thursday, August 26th of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurtz Re- Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurtz Religion and Politics as well, I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with a with an s. dot kpshubert. dot com. That's podcasts. dot kpshubert. dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.